welcome to the Daily Download. I want to talk to you about the best thing you can do with November if you're a parent. Uh, welcome into the Daily Download. I am glad that you are here. As November begins and we look toward the holiday season, I want to encourage you toward making a big Thanksgiving. I know that all of the shops are going to be pushing Christmas. There'll be a lot of, of opportunities to go shopping and think about the Christmas season. And we all love Christmas. I surely do. But I know after all of these years of pastoring and parenting that Thanksgiving is a really important holiday if you want to have a successful Christmas and you're on the parent journey, or you're a grandparent, and you've got influence in the life of your grandkids, making much of Thanksgiving is really an important part of the work that you have to do in November. I mean, maybe specifically because there are so many influences pointing toward Christmas this time of year, getting Thanksgiving in in the life of your child may be meaningful to him or to her or them, if you've got multiple kids, uh, is a lot of work. It takes some extra effort. And so I want to encourage you that direction as a parent. And why? Well, because we know that gratitude is one of the most important virtues. In fact, some have said that gratitude is the virtue that gives birth to all the others that we might want to of our kids. And I think there is something to this particular idea. We know that grateful kids are more likely to have stable mental health. Gratitude pushes back against anxiety and depression and anger and a lot of the other sort of unhealthy uh, mental health issues and challenges that a lot of our kids can have. It reminds God who is in charge, and it makes us feel valuable and important because we remember that this God has given us stuff. He's looked after us. He loves us, and he has shown that love in a tangible and a real way. And so it pushes back against a lot of the things in our culture that, that, that make us feel selfish or perhaps forgotten. So gratitude toward God is an important our kids to have healthy mental health. It also makes them better at friendships and relationships. Kids that are grateful for what they have been given and what's come into their life are often more empathetic toward others because they know that what they have has come to them from the hands of others that cared about them, and it causes them to be more inclined to care about others. Gratitude is important because it makes our kids more sensitive to the needs of other people. It causes them to be more in tune to the needs of those around them because they recognize there are people who care about their needs and have looked out for them throughout the course of their life. Gratitude is also an important work in building faith. When we recognize that God is every good and perfect gift, it changes the way we look at life. So many kids are out there in 2024, and they tend uh, to be pretty spoiled. And by that, I mean that they've got a lot of accumulation of a lot of things that they take for granted, because maybe they think they deserve it, or maybe someone's given it to them. They've never taken time to be grateful. In fact, it's been given to them. And you know, that this notion of being spoiled um, it's something that none of us would want for our kids. It, it stinks. Spoiled stuff doesn't taste good. It doesn't smell good. It's no fun to be around something that's spoiled. And the same thing is true for an individual. And the quickest way to a spoiled heart is to be the kind of person that isn't grateful for all that God has to us. And so it's an important spiritual matter to help everybody recognize, to help our kids recognize that there is a God who is the giver of the good and perfect gifts in our life. And so much of the Bible is interested in us cultivating gratitude in our own lives. And of course, as parents, we have a responsibility to cultivate that gratitude in the life of our kids. I mean, homes is really a celebration and an act of gratitude to God. The very nature of worship is we acknowledge God for who he is and what he's done for us. That's Thanksgiving. And so one of the important things we can do to help our kids develop a strong faith is to teach them to recognize God, look to God, and thank God for the important things that they have in their life. I think Thanksgiving is an important thing to do in the life of our kids because it does get them ready for Christmas. I mean, one of the things that is dangerous to our kids in the Christmas season is just the materialism, the consumerism of that particular season. It's all about what kind of gifts am I going to get and what do I want? And, and there's a lot about it that it could allow people kids to be very selfish and self-absorbed. But Thanksgiving puts us in the right frame of mind. I mean, of all the different of all the different holidays, Thanksgiving is the hardest one to commercialize. I think it's why Walmart begins putting out Christmas stuff in September, because they recognize there's not a lot of money to be made off of Thanksgiving. Obviously there's a lot Christmas. But because it's so commercialized, I think when our hearts are, are bent toward God and we recognize that God is the giver of the good things that we have, it sets us up to receive the best gift of all, which is Jesus, and which is obviously a lot more important than the physical or the material things that we might get during the Christmas season. In fact, I would say to you and your family, if you 
successful Christmas, start by having a really significant Thanksgiving. I don't know what the Thanksgiving traditions are at your home or how much time and energy you put into Thanksgiving around your house, but I would encourage you in 2024, you make sure that your your family does Thanksgiving well before you get too all fired up about Christmas. Well, this has been the Parent Journey. Day. Hope you're having a great day today. I hope you go out and vote. If you haven't done that, be sure and make time uh, to go and vote today and pray for our nation. Of course, it's an important day uh, all across uh, our land and really around the world. I love you guys. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.